All right, hello and welcome to a, another tutorial. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to configure your sound settings, preferably your recording settings, uh, through Crouton. This should also work with uh, other Linux distros as well. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a Chromebook running Crouton. Uh, but I'm doing this straight off my Chromebook, so I just wanted to make sure that I clarify that at the start of this video. So first things first is go ahead and open up your terminal. From your terminal, you're going to want to head and type in a L S A mixer. So also mixer. If you do not have this installed, go ahead and type in sudo apt get install also mixer, and that'll have that installed. Again, I'll have the uh, directions in the links. Or sorry, I'll have the directions in the uh, comment section below in the description, so you can find this easier. So once you press enter, you're going to notice that you're going to come up with a little bar like this. It should already be maximized at 100. If it fits not, go ahead and maximize that. Next thing you'll want to go ahead and do is press S F5 and you'll come up with another little bar. Go ahead and press right on your keyboard and then start cranking this up. All right, so as soon as that is done, go ahead and press the escape key and you're gonna type in one more thing to save the settings. Settings don't save automatically, so if you keep doing this, or if you keep wondering why your volumes aren't maintaining where they need to be, it's because you haven't saved it. And to save it, just type in the following. And then your password. And that'll have that saved. So, next we wanna do, if that doesn't have anything installed, or sorry, if that hasn't corrected all the uh, problems yet, there's a few other things we can uh, modify here. Next thing is you're going to actually go ahead and install uh, the PAV view control. And that is done by entering in sudo apt get install PAV view and then control. Go ahead and press enter. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Once that is installed, which should only take a few seconds, go ahead and type in PA. V, U, and then control, all one word. And you'll get this to pop up. And as you can see from here, you're gonna have the recording. As my recording's only set to right here, Kazam, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up, hello. And I don't know if that's actually gonna be noticeable right away during this recording. It actually might take me to restart Kazam as a whole, but we'll see how that works. Uh, Kazam is a, a way to record your desktop. So that's how I'm doing this entire recording. Your input devices, you see I already have that cranked up, crass, so that's going to be for uh, anything that's plugged in, so non-native uh, devices. Uh, all microphones, USB uh, um, webcams, all that type of stuff, that's going to be located under the crass. Uh, output device, if you feel that your speakers aren't putting out enough volume, you can adjust it here. Just be careful not to over adjust it, because uh, the higher you set it, there's a possibility of blowing out your speakers. Alright, once that's all done, all you go ahead and do is press the X button, it'll automatically save. There you have it. So, that is also uh, another way of uh, editing your sounds in and out, recording or non-recording. One final piece of advice, if you feel that everything kind of hasn't really configured the way you want it, go ahead and try to kill Pulse Audio and then restart it. To kill it, just type in Pulse Audio Kill. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do this because I do not know if this is actually going to mess up the video, so I'll just let you do that. Go ahead and press Pulse Audio Cube. Once that is killed, you can then type Pulse Audio again and start. And that's start right back up. And that's all you need to do to configure your sound and recordings. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. You can write me a message. My details will be in the description as well, and I can talk to you directly.